Today, I give away the secrets of how to become a six-figure personal trainer. Welcome to today's episode with myself, Connor Anderton. And if you don't know who I am, I am a online coach of 10 years, personal trainer, who specializes in getting regular guys, sick transformations, and getting them incredibly strong in the process. If you're watching this on YouTube, I do apologize. I've got a bit of a cold, so you see my shiny red nose. I suppose today you can call me Rudolph, dad joke. And if there's a few sniffles, I do apologize. So if you clicked on the video, it's because you're looking to become a successful personal trainer or maybe you're just nosying and having a listen in because you're interested in business or stuff. I don't know. Either way, today I'm going to give you my tips and tricks, my secrets, if you want to call them that, into becoming a six-figure personal trainer. What does six-figure mean? It means somebody makes six figures a year. So let's get into it. I'm going to start off with my start as a personal trainer when I was 21, 10 years ago. Crazy, crazy, crazy time in my life. Quit my job, went all in on getting qualified, thinking, screw it, I'm going to go and do this because it's my passion. I lift weights. <laughs> it's where it all starts. It should start with wanting to help people, but it quickly transforms into that, of course, and uh, having a deep-rooted need to help people, good or bad. I don't know. Anyway, I remember getting my start as a personal trainer, working for a personal training company. Not working for, but kind of like alongside. So you are self-employed, but you work within a company, so to speak, where you are mentored and taught how to run business, how to coach, how to program, all sorts of stuff. It was incredible. Really, really, really good system, especially to get started anyway. Um, so I got started with this company, had a mentor, stuff like that. Went all in on the gym floor. Didn't have a clue what I was doing. Never been self-employed before and just went for it. And I remember in my second day, I was strolling around the gym floor trying to get people to sign up to sort of like this, uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a 12-week program that I believe was free. To, uh, to enter, it was like a big 12 week group fitness thing, just strolling around, I see this guy in the corner of my eye, eyeing me up, and I had no confidence back then, none at all, it, all my confidence has been developed through personal training and running business, prior to that, shy, quiet, didn't want to speak to many people, extremely introverted, so I see this guy eyeing me up, so I think, screw it, I'm going to go, I'm going to like turn into his direction and go and speak to him. Turns out he had a, a bad back, really like a uh, well-off business guy it turned out to be. It, he ended up being a great client, but he had a he had a bad back. He wanted some advice. I was like, come on, come on, have a sit down. Let's have a chat. So we get chatting. There's a search. I apologize for this cold. Very professional on the podcast, but it's called one take for a reason because I shoot it in one take with no editing. Screw all your professionalism. We go, we sit down for a chat and I get into the, the nitty gritty of his back pain, X, Y, and Z. And I say I can help him. And, you know, a lot of time you give free advice to people. We're in the realm of giving insane levels of advice. I've given more free advice than I've given paid advice, I'll tell you that. So that that'll, we'll come into that soon for one of the uh, secrets to success. Anyway, I said to this guy, look, why, why, why don't we work together? Why don't we why don't help you out? I've never done this before. I've never sold to anyone before. But I could truly help this guy, right? Um, anyway, I tell him my, my early rate. I tell him how it works, that we, we, we're paid monthly, etc. And lo and behold, I pick up my very first client on my second ever day. Not freaking bad. It took me to get, get to my second week to pick up my second ever client, and then two ended up being very long-term clients. Phenomenal. So that was like my route into personal training. From employed to quit my job to personal training qualification, getting on board with this company, self-employed, strolling the gym floor, all that good stuff. So you want to be a successful personal trainer earning high levels of money on the gym floor. Where do we start? Now, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of get qualified and all this stuff. We want, to, we want some actionable stuff. We want some tips, tricks, right? You want to hear, hear the good stuff, the good juicy stuff. Step number one or hint number one, I don't know, how, how do you want to name it? Whatever it may be, tip number one 
is going to be be a people person. You are never going to work with more people, help more people, and therefore earn more money if you're not willing to help people, speak to people, learn people's names. Step number one is learn everybody's name on the gym floor. Now, not everybody is going to be very polite to you. Suck it up. Not everyone is polite to you in real life. You can go to the shop and get shitty service. You can go to the shop and have somebody walk into you. You can go out for a walk with your dog and somebody be a dick on a bike or whatever. That's life. <laughs> there again with a snatch. I hate this cold. Go and learn everybody's name. The more people's name you learn, who do you think they're going to come to when they need help? If they just need a little bit of advice, if they kind of got, right, I'm ready for a trainer. I'm ready to take that next step. Are they going to go to the guy who is in the corner with his head down or looking angry or looking mean or a bit intimidating or, you know, not very approachable? Or are they going to come to you who introduced yourself, told you the name, got to know them a little bit. Every time they walk in the gym, you say, hi, Steve, how you doing, mate? Hope you had a good weekend. And you become approachable and nice. Groundbreaking advice, I know. That is one of the secrets is be a nice person and get to know people. If you do not get to know people, you will not work with anyone unless you're lucky. Step number two is when you're on the gym floor, you have to come up with ways in order to speak to people and help people. So of course, once you've already introduced yourself to people, are you just gonna keep introducing yourself? I mean, you're gonna carry on conversations, stuff like that, but there's ways that you can get them interested, okay? One of the best ways I ever got somebody interested was doing body fat testing on the gym floor. Now, it doesn't have to be extensive. It only has to be minimal, getting body fat calipers, getting people to weigh themselves, stuff like that, maybe measures, and doing a simple calculation in order to see where this person's at. It doesn't mean it's 100% accurate, but it, it's, a, it's a way in. From there, you're getting to know them more. They'll tell you their issues. Like, oh, I only come to the gym two times a week. I've got kids. I'm really busy with work. I've, I've tried this diet. I've tried this. Can I, I don't know what I'm doing on that machine. Can you help me out? Blah, 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 blah. Boom, you're in. The more of these you do, the better. You might do 100 before you get an in. But I'd rather do 100 getting in than do none and get none. So body fat testing is a really good way. Another good way is getting people onto an email list or going around. Say, guys, I've got a really good recipe book. That can help you out with your diet, some really fun stuff you can make with a family, baking bits, high protein baking bits, stuff like that. Can I just grab your email? I'll send it across, it's awesome. That's one way. Guy's got a free workout guide for your cardio, some good cardio routines in there. I just need to email you off, is that cool? Boom, got their email, you can start doing your email marketing. So that's another extremely good way in order to get somebody sort of bought in and seeing that you know what you're on about, seeing that you're a professional, seeing that you run your business in a professional manner as well. Now, <clears throat> the next bit is kind of like a two-part of my favorite part, and it, but it, what it does require is a lot of free work. If you're gonna be a personal trainer and you're not willing to put in unlimited hours of free work, of free hours of PT, you're probably not gonna be that successful, okay? Try before you buy, is so important in the world of one-to-one, -one, you would not believe, okay? People are partying with a lot of cash and they wanna make sure you know what you're on about, they wanna make sure that they gel with you, they wanna make sure that when they're in that hour, they're comfortable with you and you can chat, they can open up, okay? So before they're gonna transfer over a couple hundred quid for that month or whatever, or even more, to do a good amount of sessions, then, you know, they need to know that they trust you. So what you're gonna do is, once you've built this rapport with people, don't go straight in. Okay, because you'll get freebie chases. Freebie chases aren't really worth the extra time. You wanna give your free time to people who are likely gonna buy, okay? So what you're gonna do, once you've got people's emails, once you've done the body fat testing, once you've been around the gym floor, got to know people a little bit, offered some bits and bats, then you can approach them and go, look, why, why don't we just do a session? First session free, let me help you out. You said you wanted to, you know, you had struggle working, struggle, struggle building your pecs, let me take you for a good chest chest workout. How's that sound? There's an in. You can start to offer this stuff out, right? On your email list, it can be, guys, if you get this ebook and you get you start using my recipes, I'll give you a free taste of session on the house. Little bits like that. On top of that, if you wanted to go absolutely all in and you wanted the biggest month of your life of PT, 
and you were willing to absolutely graft hours, but you better be willing to if you're actually doing no working hours, is you can offer two weeks free personal training. These free personal training sessions only have to be 30 minutes per month. You don't have to do two hours and two hours, making it four hours of free time. Do two half hours, two half hours the week after. Of course, the last session should be all about upsell and getting them onto your monthly coaching program, okay? That's a very, you know, higher risk of your time. Of course it is, but it's one extra hour over the free taster session, okay? But it tends to have a very high rate of success in terms of sign up as long as you're good at your job as long as you're a, a people person as long as you can build rapport and trust with that person so guys if you do put these this formula together of being approachable and getting to know somebody coming up with methods in order to either get people's email address get people's story so when you do body fat testing and things like that you get people's story get to open up tell them tell get them to tell you their issues and why they struggle in the gym and all these sorts of different problems if on top of that you can get them into a free taster session get to open up more get you can show them that you're amazing at your job at that point when it comes to the end of it don't go for a hard sell go for an easy sell so look it looks like you really enjoyed it don't know about you but if you want to carry on with more with more sessions, why, why don't we look at getting getting onto something you know a little bit more long term? What what do you think? And then put it on them. They'll either tell you yes or no. Okay, they're going to ask you your price. As long as price works, you can go from there. Okay, I don't recommend down selling your price. I recommend staying true to your price and uh, staying strict with it because the last thing you want to do is start devaluing yourself, and that is part of this this method as well is do not devalue yourself if you're charging 40 an hour 50 an hour do not be charging 20 an hour 25 an hour like a fucking peasant this is a this is a niche service we don't charge low hourly rates for a reason it's a high value service okay so and it's a service in which we cannot work with too many people at once especially in a one-to-one -one fashion so high hourly rates are required okay so keep that in mind so guys, once you've kind of gotten to this point where, you know, you're filtering leads through, you're doing free test sessions, free two-week trials, you're constantly getting people into email lists and you're upselling and stuff like that, you'll end up with a really full di diary. And it's not rocket science. All this is, is being approachable, gaining trust and <laughs> putting in free hours, being told no a lot. Because when you do these free test sessions, or free two-week trials, you get to the end and someone goes, ah, in fact, it's not for me. Uh, it's just the wrong time oh I actually can't, can't afford that I'm going on holiday I'm doing this I've just got the kids to pay for X, Y and Z and you'll hear all, all the excuses you've ever heard in your life and more but it's okay because maybe one in three one in four one in five will say yes and every time you get a yes your experience increases you get better at your job your bank account increases and you keep going from there so you just need to implement these, these methods as much as possible once you get busy in person it flows very nicely. And from there, what happens? We ask for referral. You'll naturally get referral. And what you will find is you spend less time actively having to build leads on the gym floor. Leads will get thrown at you. Again, as long as you're good at your job, as long as you ask. I do recommend asking your clients once every two to three months for a referral, you know, putting it in the, in the, in the way that um, look, I'm just looking to fill my diary up a little bit more, looking to help people like yourself. Do you have any friends or family who, you know, who do need some help with the training at the moment? You might be looking to lose some weight, build some muscle. If you have someone in mind, send them away. I'll give them a, I'll give them a two, three week trial on me. No pressure. Let's see, see how they like it. What do you think? If you do not get, if you've got 10 clients, 20 clients, and you don't get five, 10 people on board off that, something's gone very wrong. So guys, you can keep putting all these systems in place in order to earn more and more money, okay? So once you're hitting that 100 session mark, 140, 160 session mark a month, you'll be earning very, very high levels of income, okay? And when we're pushing towards that six figure mark, we're pushing into the online realm as well. So when people wanna come into your one-to-one, -one, it'd be like, I actually, I'm full on this. However, I can still help you in this capacity, okay? In my online program. And then you will filter people into your online program and that's where your online marketing comes involved even more so speak to people building content informative content fun content helpful content all this stuff and getting people to know you better and starting to buy a few again and you know you can move into bigger email lead stuff 
um, doing a free ebook to get people into your emails, start up selling from there. There's all sorts of stuff you can do, seminars, free sem free fat loss seminars, free strength seminars, free all this sort of stuff. Get people to know you, be the go-to guy in the gym and watch the dollar dollar bills stack in. But also, look how many people you'll help in the process because that's what personal training is all about. It's a high reward, God, high effort <laughs> sort of a line of work but it's the best job in the world because you'll meet the greatest people, you'll meet the nicest people, conscientious people, rich people, normal people, people in lines of what you never thought possible. And then the, what you'll find is your clientele will start to really like it and they'll just want to start helping you out no matter what. I've had multiple clients help me with my businesses, give me the, all the resources from giving me their assistance. Also